Today's top five is a hot and steamy, dreamy Korean kiss off. At number five, we have Iljame's blindfolded kiss. Iljame and Unche is sitting in the tree. K I S S I N G. No, really. They are sitting in a tree. Really, I swear they are. They're sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. It's like the Korean Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Spider-Man and Mary Jane. You have Iljame and he's sitting in a tree with his lady love. He's got the headband and the mask and they're sitting in the tree and the cherry blossoms are falling all around. And it's so romantic and she's there, oh my, I'm here with Iljame. And he takes off the headband and he goes to put it around her head and she's like, ew, no, it's sweaty, it's sticky, don't put it on me. And he puts it on her and then he takes off Slowly, and he leans in and they smooch and somehow their lips don't match up but the the rest of it's all built up and it's really nice he kind of misses and gets her top lip kind of it's really hot and steamy up until the actual lip block so this one doesn't necessarily make it into number five because the kiss but I love the buildup. At number four, we have the very foggy late autumn kiss. I'm an aesthetic person, and this one isn't exactly as aesthetically pleasing as some of the other choices in my top five. But you still have the fog rolling in. It's early in the morning. You hear the seagulls, and Young Bin walks in all strong and steady in his stride. And he comes up, and he takes her in a very strong and real actual kiss. And in addition, this one has something that the other ones really don't. A girl that kisses back. I get the sweet and innocent girl that they want to portray to the media masses, but what's the fun in kissing someone who stands there and pretends that they don't want to be kissed, but deep down they really do want to be kissed, but because they have to be shy and innocent, they can't pretend that they want to be kissed, and so they just stand there or freak out, or just like, oh, wide eye look at him like, what the heck are you doing? It's not attractive really to watch, and really if I was kissing somebody who had that reaction, I wouldn't want to kiss them. At number three, we have a sexy handcuff rock and roll smooch. And Mary stayed out all night, Moongoon Young and Jung Kun suck her in an alley, trapped, running away from pursuers, handcuffed together, and she's up against the wall, the brick wall, and she's like, why? Why are you making my heart explode? Kisses are meant to be with the person that you love. <laughs> How could you? Don't talk like this. Be nice to me. Don't joke around with me. Don't say that you love me. Don't kiss me. Kisses are supposed to be with the person that you love. Yeah, that's exactly what I said the first time I kissed a boy. I thought you said you didn't see me as a woman. I thought you said you don't see me as a man. Didn't you ask me not to fall in love with you? Didn't you also say that you don't like me? I thought you said you were going to do the dishes. I thought you said that you were gonna put the dishes in the dishwasher. We don't have a dishwasher. And then in the heat of the passion, Jung Kun Suk lays a big giant smooch on her. While this kiss may not score a 10 in Hollywood, it's my indie kiss dream. Rebel love! For my number two pick, we have Copy Princess Up Against the Door. I really love the body action in this kiss. The whole like picking the girl up and walking around first up against the door and then kissing as you walk around the house and then laying her down on the bed. It's kind of hot and steamy and dreamy. Fantasy, perhaps. Okay, I admit it, I love Gong Yu way too much. Gong Yu, up against the door, walking around the room, throwing you on the bed. Whew. Okay, enough. Calm down, Stephanie. Whew. Yeah, it's a little hot and steamy. Whew. Oh, oh. Calm down, Stephanie. Calm down. Whew. Gong Yu is way too steamy. Oh, oh, I'm dying over here. I need some water. Some refreshments. And for my number one sexiest Korean smooch, we have Love Rain's Fountain Explosion. So there's actually not one, but there's three kisses in the scene. The first one is kind of like the whole Korean petal, like, and you're watching and you're like, what? 
Is that it? This like big fantastic kiss. Yeah, if you started watching this, you think, Stephanie, what the heck? But really, keep watching. Because he has this kiss and then he's talking to her and he's just like, just wait. I'm going in for the kill. I'm really gonna kiss you. Get ready for it. Ready, set, three, two, one. And then he lays his lovely smooch on her and they're kissing and they're kissing and then the fountains start misting. She freaks out and like runs away. <laughs> but he's not going to let that stop him. Oh no, no he won't. He goes and runs after her and grabs her and lays a big giant smooch on her as the fountains go up and the purse goes drop. I've always wanted to have the purse dropping, fountain spraying, picturesque, movie theater, big screen kiss. You know, you watch it, it's sexy. I, I like it. And that concludes my top five favorite sexiest Korean kisses. I upload top five videos every Friday. I want to give a shout out to Patch Nanglis who recommended that I do this video. If you have a recommendation for a top five Friday, head on over to my Hallow You Back Facebook page, click like and leave a comment over there. Or leave your suggestion in the comment section below. Please remember to like and favorite this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more top five and toad adventures. Look at those pandas, they're kissing.